Well, we had a nice talk with the tour manager. Well, this is his office here. This is the tour desk where you can order your shore excursions and uh, learn more about the ports that we're going to. I wanted to highlight some of the artwork aboard the Trollfjord and some of the other Hurtigruten vessels. This is the tour manager. What was your name again? My name is Magne. Now tell us a little bit about the artwork that's in this room because it's very unique. Right, this is probably one of those lounges which we are most proud of because it is the uh, Espolin Jonsson lounge, so to speak, is that what we call it. And the artwork in here was brought to us when Trollfjord was new. It was cut out and taken from the old uh, 1956 Haraljal ship, which then was sold off. And the, the funny story is that they, the interest into the ship was not really so much to the ship, it was more into the artwork. So when they took out the artwork, the, it was just about impossible to get the ship sold. And uh, this lounge therefore carried the original art, which is a rather special artist, Espelin Jonsson, which worked and lived much up in northern Norway. He used local artists into his works and nature, but he was um, also, uh, he was a rather special artist. He used a scrape technique. He doesn't paint. He uh, is partly blind on one eye. He was blind on the other eye. And he um, used binoculars to get to see the depth of his pictures. So he used uh, powder on toothbrush, knocked it, and then he scraped up the pictures, which is so incredible, special with these lounges. And we, here we have about six, seven works, which are then cut out directly from the old ship and then put into this lounge here. And he is also represented in the National Gallery with 39 works. So he is kind of a, one of the big names into to the old Norwegian artwork. Tell us briefly about this one right here behind us. This is a, a motive taken from the coast called Helgeland. And you have here the typical uh, motives of the seven sisters. He also brought in the, the priest and the clergyman Petter Das, which you see right behind me here. And you have then the seven sisters. And also his vicarage, which is a bit further down. It's called Alstahug, which is kind of deeply rooted into the Norwegian um, culture. Now, I understand the Hurtigruten vessels are, are, have a lot of original artwork that was designed for each ship. Tell us a little bit about that. Yes, each ship has its own artwork. We have uh, special ships for special artists. We have a couple of ships which represent the whole country. And uh, it is uh, the, the big artists which has been assigned to decorate the ships and also when it comes to, to uh, statues, columns, artwork, colors, and so, so on. So, and also different techniques. You can see different techniques on, in all kind of... We have also here the so-called uh, Otaslate artwork by the lifts and the, um, the staircases, which is also a very, very special form for, for art. So very, uh, each ship different with its own artist. Oh, thank you very much. You're welcome.